start, and if you go two innings and you get hit with a cell, which there's a lot of cells still out there to the west, and uh, I think they made the right decision, and they've got everyone's best interest at heart. Certainly, we wanted to play tonight. Coach Tanner did, and so do I. But uh, I think uh, I think it's the right decision. If you guys win, you have to play twice tomorrow. Uh, what, what time would you follow on that? Well, that's what happens when you get in the losers bracket. You know, you, that's why you always say stay in the winners bracket. You don't have to worry about things like that. We're in the we're in the losers bracket. Uh, it, it's not going to be easy. Uh, certainly, to beat uh, two SEC teams in one day. Uh, that's uh, that's a great story if it happens. But we, we've got to worry about South Carolina first, and they're a great team. And, and if we win that, then go home and take a nap and see if uh, we can get back at, uh, at Arkansas. But also another day of rest, too. Starring gets another day of rest, Morris gets another day of rest, and then you got some options should you be able to win that first game. Yeah, no question. I mean, I think we're in good shape pitching-wise, and you know, our bullpen guys uh, get another day to, to kind of get a breath and, and gather themselves a little bit. So, yeah, I, I think we're, uh, we're in as good a shape as we possibly can be this late in the tournament. So just to be clear, what are your pitching plans then for tomorrow? Well, Tyler Scalina is going to start. Uh, our plans are him, he's going to throw a complete game. Uh, but uh, you know, he's going to go hopefully six or seven, give us a strong game. Our bullpen takes over, and, and then uh, we'll just see where we are. I mean, we have to do everything we can to win uh, tomorrow morning. Coach Tanner is going to do the same thing. And you worry about the 8 o'clock game if you get there. I hope I have that decision to make, and we'll sit down. Coach Burke Peck and I will sit down and talk about our, our options. Uh, David Starn is an option. Ryan Mace is an option. So uh, we've got two very good starters that we could go with. At what point did you start getting your players kind of prepared for this possibility? Right around 7.30, just with looking. I mean, they had the radar up on the on the tele, the big screen up there, so all the guys could see it and, and see everything out to the west still coming. So I think our guys kind of knew it was happening, and we prepared them about 7.30 after I met with some of the NCAA officials that it's not looking good. Uh, we hit a little bit extra, and guys were, were ready to go, but I, we were prepared for uh, the possibility of playing two games tomorrow. How do you think your guys kind of held up during all the downtime today? I mean, you said they hit some. And anything else go on down in your dugout? Uh, Not really. Guys were loose. I mean, they were playing uh, fake games down in there. Guys were throwing pitches and taking fake swings. I mean, it, you know, the, the, the baseball players are a unique bunch. And uh, you know, South Carolina looked like they tied one of their freshmen yeah, up in the locker right. room. I mean, it's, it's, it's a anything ba- like that. Happen? Baseball? No, not that I know of. <laughs> I know. But baseball players are interesting creatures. That's for sure. They keep themselves busy. And rain delays are. There's always something funny that comes out of rain delay, no matter where you are. I'm glad our guys weren't dancing out on the tarp. That's for sure. But, but they, they keep themselves occupied, and, and this is such a nice place. You can you know, go into the locker room and watch. They're actually playing hangman in the locker room. Uh, the kids, the game you played when you were five years old, they're in there playing uh, hangman and just having fun and relaxing and watching some sports center. And, and they're anxious to play, but, you know, it is what it is, and we'll just get ready to play tomorrow. And you were, I guess, totally okay with the decision as far as let's, let's play three tomorrow? Well, it, no question. I mean, you can't. Playing at midnight is just not a very good option, right. and, uh, and that's what we were kind of looking at: is you know starting a game at best at 10:30, getting done at 1:30, and we're getting back at the hotel at 2 a.m. What are you going to eat? You know, the thing about right. the logistical things that you have with it: uh, how are they going to sleep? And then you got to come back, and the winner's got to come back and play. Just, just not uh, didn't make a lot of sense to do it. And we always talk about student athlete welfare, and the NCAA guys here were were outstanding thinking about that. They wanted to make sure our guys were in, in the best scenario possible. And, Unfortunately, right now, the best scenario is playing at 11 a.m. Stay with the gold uniforms. And then stay with the That's Tyler Scalina's decision. We asked him that and told him if they're a little bit wet, hang them over the shower, and we'll get ready to go tomorrow.